everybody, thank you for watching my movie. This time my project idea was to fill up an area with tangent circles and this movie shows the journey I got out of this project which handy notes I produced during this project and last but not least some examples with these notes. First let's draw some circles to show you what I want to have circles with random radius laying side by side. Um, first thing we should do go in the internet and search an existing solution for that. This solution uh, was part of external external Python package or just too regular like, like this. Uh, so I decided to make something from scratch. I found a geometrical solution uh, on the web for tangent circles to three other circles. I didn't knew that yet. Uh, this can be solved manually by about 20 steps of intersection, circles, parallels, etc. So, Fresh and Alive has started to make MyNet networks uh, for that. Uh, but there was uh, no geometry nodes like line intersection, circle intersection, etc. Um, so I made first some nodes for that and I am positive this can be used in other cases as well. Uh, touch solutions with some exercises uh, like this. I draw polylines to evaluate if the solutions are uh, alright in different situations and the result is uh, a huge network of marionettes just to uh, this is the, the network and there is a wrapper included there which have other nodes. Uh, a huge network to uh, just to construct a tangent circle on three other circles. And the decision was clear to uh, make this a known node uh, which uh, constructs circles from point to circle, circle, circle or circle to circle, circle, circle. That's the name of the node. <laughs> and uh, this node is able to draw all solutions, all possible solutions of the uh, tangent. Also, something nice I figured out during this project is to produce layers for steps in the script to uh, make an animation directly in Vectorworks or export JPEGs to compose it to a, a movie file to document how the script works. Also, um, one answer is clear. To f use that for filling up a whole area, it has to be uh, one node, code in one node. So I start coding again uh, a node uh, which fills up an area. Uh, as you can see here, the text is for debugging and the grey uh, circles are for debugging too. And the result of this effort is a node which randomly calculates stacked circle points and the radius values. Uh, for input we have an offset, the minimum maximum value of offset is zero. Uh, the circle is a tangent cell. Also I connected some color range node to make it more visible. And the result we can see above um, the circles. Um, stacked from inside to outside, counterclockwise. Also this is something nice for landscape examples and can be combined with any other objects and networks for Marionette as example spheres or symbols here combination with my random um, symbol grabber connected to the new node. I made another node uh, which is much simpler this node gets input points and let them grow step by step by a value and if they have a collision with another radius the affected point stops growing and the other will keep on growing. So this solution is quite simple. The handicap is uh, that uh, the growing value um, should be not too less because um, the node needs then more time to finish. Uh, the grow value should be minimum about 1% of the, of the grid offset. Um, this offset value, uh, if it's uh, zero, I get tangential circles. Um, 
if I have a negative value, I got an intersection of circles also I connected here. Both nice color range value. I, we don't have to use uh, just circles to um, combine with this node. Also, we can uh, insert symbols, um, get the symbol bounding box and scale the symbols uh, by the requested values. Also, we can uh, take um, other objects like spheres or intersect um, object with um, solids. So I have here three examples with, with solid operations. Let's take a look at some nodes which are not uh, native. Here I have got nodes to take the color of the node itself and return to color value. And also here the well-known um, loser and shaker nodes, the grid box wrapper which is uh, from the tutorial and here this node uh, do, not re uh, um, do not rotate the object, it rotates just the point because it's fast to rotate points and draw the object after that instead of rotating the line. And this one here, the enhanced uh, bounding box node, uh, it's just a time saver node, uh, um, save time to not have to calculate left bound, right bound with center of uh, the bounding box node. Symbol scale node, um, a node to get uh, symbols uh, from a folder and the shuffler node to um, random the symbol names. So this was another play project with Marionette. I felt relegated 25 years back to school uh, to reshape formulas, uh, handling with trigonometry and geometrical constructions. Uh, I had really a, a lot of fun with that. I hope it was fun for you too and also I hope the one or other waste product from this project can be useful in other projects. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Tschüss.